Hey guys, so today is a free comic book day, so I'm just taking a break. Now my daughter's back in that building over there doing her dance class. So I'm just taking a walk outside, and uh, you can see I got my Venom shirt on. My wife has her uh, female superheroes, and my daughter is going to be, uh, uh, what is it, Supergirl or Wonder Woman? One of the two. She's got both with her. So she'll decide what she wants to do when she gets there. But I'm out here taking a break. Got the jewel. And uh, yeah, just enjoying the weather. I don't know if you can hear me too well. It's kind of windy out here. Let's see, we got some things going on over there. Some kind of bouncy castle for a birthday party. Sorry about all the jumping around here, walking around. Should have brought a selfie stick. What do people, what do you guys think about people carrying around selfie sticks and recording videos? I've never actually seen anyone do it, but I know people do it because there are YouTube channels that they're obviously holding a selfie stick. I've never actually walked around this park before. I didn't know the sidewalk was here. I should come out here and take a walk more often. And then over there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a skate park. And they always do a huge event here in the summer. Uh, it's called the Harvest Fest. I don't know why. Well, I guess they, they harvest fruits and vegetables. They have like a little, it's like a vegetable market, but mostly it's, that's a very small part of it. They actually have like a bunch of, bunch of booths and music and a, a huge area for kids to play on bouncy castles and trains and all kinds of stuff. And they have two stages with bands. So it's really cool, really cool event. All right, well, I'm going to head back to my daughter's uh, dance class, and then uh, we're going to go to Free Comic Book Day. Yeah, that's the mystery machine. That's flowers. Do you remember the Batmobile from last year? Mm -mm. That one too was here last year. There's the Wonder Woman car. What do you see? Look. What? The drone? Yeah. Drone on top? There's a drone on top. <laughs> So I got my selfie stick uh, now that I'm at home, like I, I mentioned earlier. Got to see some local artists, so that was pretty cool. Got a, a few comics. We were, were each allowed to take three. So we went to a park after, after my daughter's dance class. Um, well, first we went to Whole Foods and picked up some food, some uh, paleo tortillas, because we've never tried them before, and we were hoping that they taste like real tortillas. And then, um, then we decided to go to a park. We got a bunch of food from Whole Foods. I didn't know they had like all that food, at, like a food bar that you can just get a whole bunch of stuff eight dollars a pound or nine dollars a pound actually kind of expensive but it's cool being able to get a, a bunch of different things so uh, we did that and uh, found a park near near that Whole Foods never been to uh, we drive by all the time but um, it's like you go into the entrance of this neighborhood and then there's this big lake just in the middle of like you just never notice it unless you actually drive into that neighborhood but pretty crazy um, must be some pretty rich people living there but it's just vaping on uh, the Og Vape V200, and I don't know if anyone has seen this yet, but so it's, it's a, it looks like a VTEC engine, actually a Honda engine. Uh, go do a Google search, and you'll see that it looks exactly like a like an engine. So that's what it's designed off of. Um, so a pretty cool idea. And then on top, I got the um, the Keys Solomon 2. Um, I haven't seen anyone doing any reviews of this yet, but it's a single coil. Uh, Genesis style RTA so uh, I've been using it for a couple days and it's pretty cool it's it's nice um, it's really short not really short but it's short enough and holds five mils with the bubble tank I think 3.5 something with the straight tank it comes with two glass tanks um, and um, I did have problems with it originally setting it up and that's because they didn't provide directions and 
Usually you don't need directions for a tank or an RDA, but this one does, I think, because you have to slide the deck in, into the, the chamber or the chimney in a special way or else it won't catch. I thought the threads were stripped. So, uh, turns out they weren't. I sent a, a message to Keese on Facebook and th then they showed me that picture. So, because I'm, I'm guessing they had that ready. They sent it to me in like five seconds. So, I'm guessing that other people are saying the same thing. Um, but, so, if you do get that, get that tank, uh, that's how you do it. That's how you get it on there. Um, but, other than that, um, you know, once I figured that out, the flavor is really good. So, yeah, it's nice. And then, uh, oh, about the V200. So this, the screen is the button up at the top. That's how you fire it. It's a nice clicky button. Really nothing special about the mod other than that it looks like an engine. Uh, it doesn't do temperature control. It's just a very basic 200 watt mod. It does uh, variable wattage and that's it. It has an auto mode. I don't know what that is yet. Um, I didn't see anything on the website, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing much. So just wanted to check in real quick, and I'm about to make some fajitas for dinner, so I'm going to go do that. Hey, okay, so dinner's done. I cook dinner every night, so um, I'm, I'm a pretty good cook for the most part. Uh, I've been cooking my whole life, and, you know, since I was a little kid. And uh, if this vaping channel ends up not working out for me, maybe I'll do a cooking channel. Uh, and actually, have, I have thought of that, and I've had people suggest it to me too, uh, friends and family. But anyway, back to vaping stuff. So, um, I am vaping right now on, um, well, I got the Templar RDA, and this is from Vape. So I don't know how to, this is a, like, using the phone is new to me, recording, so I don't know how to get it to focus. Uh, it doesn't look like it will. It's about as good as it's going to get. So this is the Templar RDA, and um, it's a dual coil, squonking RDA, very low profile, and uh, it's got like a, a T-shaped deck, and a titanium screw here, small small deck, small juice well. Um, not a lot going on, but it's nice. It tastes good. Um, so I've been vaping on that for about a week now. I got some e-juice from Vapecraft Inc. And they started a new line called Stunna. And this is from Birdman, the rapper. So uh, this is a new line, just these two e-juices, in partnership with a brand called Stunna. And uh, Stunna e-juice. You can go to Vapecraft Inc. or StunnaEjuice.com to, to check these out. Cash Money is like a... Um, uh, vanilla custard and it's good but it's really really light I would have liked for it to have a lot more flavor uh, liquid gold is like a mango e-juice it's a very sweet mango and I love this one I've been vaping it nonstop I'm a big fan of mango e-juice so it's I really like it and I just love how sweet it is this one is really good um, what's what else going on here so um Oh, so my last review that I published was on the Eclipse. And this is a dry herb vaporizer. And uh, before I published it, I, I didn't know how um, YouTube was like really going after uh, creators who do herbal reviews, uh, marijuana reviews. So um, right after I published it, I started seeing a whole bunch of news about YouTube really taking action against uh, 420 channels. And... I think, uh, what's his name, Indoor Smokers, he had a, a weed-related channel that got taken down, and he's been a creator for a long, long time, so it's pretty crazy, and I've heard that a lot of uh, 420 reviewers or uh, news channels, anything, anything related to, to marijuana, they're all moving to other platforms, like Vimeo, um, and there's another weed-specific platform that uh, just popped up and people are moving to, but it's because YouTube is shutting all these channels down. So, uh, anyway, what I'm trying to get to is I'm probably going to remove my review of this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on, maybe I'll, I'll put it on Vimeo or one of those other channels, one of those other platforms, and um, I'll still link to it in a blog post on my website so anyone can go see it, but I'm going to redo the review for this. So, 
and I'm going to do it vaping uh, different types of herbs, um, legal herbs, legal everywhere. So, um, and I actually just tested it right before this video. I've been reading about different herbs and uh, I don't really have a lot of different herbs in my house that I can vape. I have some that I, I think are, they might be okay, like lavender, but I don't know if it's organic, so I'm not gonna vape it. But um, one of, that I do know that I have is green tea. So I do have organic green tea, no additives, nothing. It's a very high quality green tea and you can vape it. So according to what I've been reading online, so that's what I did, and I vaped it, and uh, it tasted good. It tastes like green tea. The thing about what I just learned, though, is that um, it doesn't, not everything, not every herb that you vape will produce vapor, and green tea doesn't pro produce any vapor at all, so that aspect of it is a little unsatisfying, but it does work. Um, you, you can taste it for sure, and I emptied out the chamber here, and compared it to the the dry to the unused unvaped uh, green tea and you can see a difference so it definitely vaped it no, I just couldn't see any vapor but so that's one thing so I think I'm gonna order some different herbs online and uh, oh and by the way if you vape anything look online f for some articles to to find out exactly what temperature you should vape that herb at because from what I've what I understand uh, some herbs will have produce oils if you vape them too hot so um, you got you you need to be careful about how hot you're vaping herbs um, so just look online like green tea for example you have to vape at 374 Fahrenheit so um, yeah so anyway that's that so I'm probably gonna pr do a new review I'm probably gonna use mostly the old footage but maybe a, a different intro and a different uh, ending so that's what's coming up I did some reviews for the basics line from glass and those were all really good I liked all of them uh, the one thing though is that fizzy lemonade is super super strong the menthol or the culotta I'm not sure exactly what they're using but it's really strong and if you're not used to that really icy sensation in your throat it's gonna make you cough it's gonna vape real quick and this is some of that that uh, liquid gold from Stunna So yeah, that's about it. I can't think of anything else I wanted to talk about, but I um, hope you enjoyed spending a day with me. All right, I guess that's it. So I'll see you next time.